Today, some people are still dealing with damage and power outages from storms. Orange County has been the real hot spot today as crews work to clean up from last night's storms. W Orioles Matt Tallhelm has been there all day and he joins us live in Chapel Hill with the latest timeline of when that power will come back on. Matt. Well, Deborah, just within the last 30 minutes, we've seen several more trucks pull up here to Purefoy Road, and Duke Energy is telling me it's going to take longer to do these repairs. The new estimated time to restore power here is now midnight. It's all because of the damage. You can see here this power line completely ripped down, and all along this street, a whole row of power lines and power poles that snapped. They came down onto the street here. This is now 20 hours after that storm ripped through that neighbors describe it as intense wind and rain that lasted 10 to 20 minutes. This lift is like a tug of war with Mother Nature's damage. Crews pull power lines off the street to the top of new poles pounded into the ground to replace the ones strong winds snapped like twigs. They were taken down uh, by either a falling tree or by the high wind. Jeff Bryant heard those howling winds. It was that sudden blast that just Whoa, what was that? You know, it was really startling. As they whipped through his neighborhood in Chapel Hill. It didn't last long, but our power went out immediately. The severe storm Thursday night knocked out power to more than 5,000 Duke Energy customers across the triangle. Most were restored by daylight, which revealed this view of the damage from Sky 5. The wind peeled back the metal roof from this business on North LaSalle Street in Durham. Flying over Chapel Hill, Sky 5 shows the row of seven sheared off power poles and toppled trees. We love our trees in Chapel Hill, don't we? That tall tree canopy is also the culprit of power outages at SECU Family House at UNC Hospitals, where Janice McAdams is executive director. We know that it's likely. Sometimes we get a complete buy and the wind blows and we sit inside and say, Whew. They weren't so lucky this time. The power went out overnight at the house, which serves as a hotel for patients and their families. We have banks of all of these lanterns so we can pass them around the house. Right now, the nonprofit is raising money to buy a bigger generator to power the house through the next storm. You better believe the day it comes, we're going to get it hooked up. They're trying to raise $75,000 to buy that bigger generator. You can see another truck even pulling up here along Purefoy Road to complete all of these repairs. Right now, Duke Energy is reporting 40 customers still without power here in Orange County. Emergency services in the county tells me that there are six reports of storm damage that they took overnight here around the county. Good news, though, no one was injured. Good news there. Matt Tallhelm live in Chapel Hill tonight. Thanks, Matt.